What's good, family? It's your boy, Gerald Moore Jr., and this is Athletes in Cannabis. So I started athletesincannabis.com because as a collegiate athlete, uh, NFL athlete, I realized that a lot of my peers were consuming cannabis at a high level alongside with me, but it was illegal. Uh, and a lot of times we were demonized for using it. Uh, we were, uh, you know, drug tested numerous times. Uh, me personally, college, uh, you get drug tested by the university. Uh, the NCAA drug test you, they, they drug test you during the season uh, and bowl games, championships. Uh, and so in college, I saw uh, many teammates uh, lose opportunity because uh, of cannabis. Uh, although I was consuming it as, as well, and I got to understand that cannabis really isn't a bad thing, you know, even though it's illegal, you know, it's one of those things like you're doing something and you're like, it makes me feel amazing, especially as an athlete, you know, especially as a football player, uh, you're, you're pushing your body to the max, you're training at a very high level uh, every single day, you're running, you're sprinting, you're hitting, uh, you're pushing a lot of weight. Um, and so your body, uh, it needs, it needs things to help itself, uh, perform at a high level. And so, uh, if somebody gets a surgery or somebody gets hurt, they, the doctor gives them pain pills. Um, you know, if you're getting surgery, you get anesthesia and all these different things. And so there was never a shortage of opioids or pain pills in our locker room because somebody was always getting a surgery. Somebody was always getting a rotator cuff or some uh, uh, ACL or an ankle or a hip or something. So there was always pills in my college locker room. That being said, I've lost friends and teammates due to opioids. Uh, my degree is in healthcare administration. So while I'm playing division one sports, I'm getting, I'm getting a degree in healthcare and studying our American healthcare system and how rigged and flawed and crippled it is uh, and outdated it is. Uh, and while simultaneously playing sports uh, at a high level, at the division one level, I was a division one all American. I had six interceptions in my red shirt freshman year, uh, played in two conference championships, winning the Mac East twice. Uh, played in four bowl games, winning the first two bowl games in the history of the university. Uh, so I have a lot of accolades in the, in the highlights and pictures to show for, uh, you know, where I'm coming from. Um, but I wanted to start this uh, because I feel like it's time for us to raise our voices. Um, you know, it's more of us than it is them. And I know that a lot of times it can be, be embarrassing, it can be uncomfortable, uh, it can be uh, intimidating, uh, it can be fearful, it could be, uh, you know, all the adjectives and anything that you can think of. Uh, and so that's something that I've had to deal with on my journey as well. Um, but and that's, again, why I started Athletes in Cannabis, uh, to be a platform, to be a space, uh, a welcoming space for, uh, for athletes by athletes. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear our voices. I want to hear uh, your stories. I want to know what it's like you know, what was it like your first time consuming cannabis? What was it like, you know, maybe being demonized by your team if you got caught uh, smoking cannabis? What, what happened if, you know, I know pro players that have been kicked out of the league, you know what I mean? Because they failed multiple drug tests. Uh, and then you have fans that say, you know, you have people like Stephen A. Smith, stay off the weed, man, stay off the weed. So you don't even have a job without these amazing gifted athletes. Then, you know, we have the war on drugs. When you say 65 to 75, 80% of the NFL and NBA are from African-American communities, we know that these communities have been directly targeted by the war on drugs, which was the target of the cannabis plant. But now it's a, it's legalizing nationwide. It's been an essential service and we don't own, we don't have any ownership uh, and we're still on the streets doing it. We still, you know, and we're not speaking up about it. And it blows my mind. And so that's why I started Athletes in Cannabis. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of athletes getting involved in the industry. Uh, you have uh, Chris Weber that's working on a, a venture fund. And I'm going to actually uh, pull up my screen. Um, I was looking at some, uh, I had an email earlier about Ohio because I'm in Ohio, but I like to go national. And while I'm on here, y'all go ahead and check out uh, Uplift National. And sign up for our diversity uh, symposium coming up. So our diversity uh, symposium, uh, June 12, 2021. Uh, we're building a platform for us, by us. Also, we got different events. If you want to sign up to be a speaker, sponsor, volunteer, uh, go check that out. Take you guys to athletes and cannabis. And so right now it's really just the brand, you know, so you can go buy some merchandise. Uh, we got a blog empowering athletes through branding, storytelling, education, and merchandise to end the stigma and war on drugs in black and brown communities. So we got the gator, net gator. Got the In the Stigma t-shirt. Athletes and Cannabis hoodie. Got the swim trunks. All the products under 60 bucks got Got the trucker hat. Go check us out. Go check us out. Got the leggings. Stoned and athletic tee. Got the crop top for the ladies. You know what I mean? A little something for everybody. Got the sports bra for the ladies. Got the athletes and canvas logo socks. And then we got our blog as well. Our blog, so our stories. Uh, so our first athletes and cannabis conversation with TJ Cottrell former NFL player, musician, artist. You can be against the weed and being high all you want to, but you're talking about food. Yeah. You're talking about oil. You're talking mm -hmm. about agriculture, mm -hmm. cleaning the air, purifying the soil. You're Absolutely. talking about clothes. Mm -hmm. You're talking mm -hmm. about straw. You're talking about so many different things that you have to be yeah. a visionary to see, but guess what? It's legal now. Yes. And so yes. hemp is cannabis. Mm -hmm. Or to like their so, all right. I mean, the the absolutely, yeah. So, exactly. what is marketing? Why do we put athletes in Nike? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And it's self. And, 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 and self. I mean, so if to the point where the one hand are like this and Nike, right? Nike, that to the point where people don't people people don't even get this to the point where I remember I played and people wore Nike shoes and they endorsed you to get this on the contract. It was all cool, but on game day. You wasn't allowed to spat your shoes. Right, you can't cover the Nike. Yet. You can't cover the Nike. People would put it was funny like that. People don't get that. They were just like, they would they find you or something like that. But then with the Nike, and so it was just kind of funny because like, I swear, so, yeah, we I got all types so, of stuff coming. You know what I mean? So if you're an athlete, you don't have to be a professional athlete. You don't have to be a pro football player. Um, you could be, you know, an athletic mom or somebody that, you know, works out, somebody that does yoga. Uh, and uses cannabis, um, you know, cheerleader, gymnast. It's my boy, LJ Hose, former MLB player. So me and LJ grew up smoking together. Then you got Megatron, Calvin Johnson, Rob Sims, believe in the science potential of cannabis uh, industry.
John Sally. Former NBA star and champion John Sally building the cannabis empire. John Sally, a four times four time NBA champion, first round pick, and first player to win three championships with three different teams, has been a part of the cannabis industry for years, including through his cannabis brand Deuce, uh, Deuces Twenty Two and in the, and his investment in the testing company Green Space Labs. Sally's latest venture is protect. Uh, protecting cannabis consumers and businesses by teaming up with an ins uh, with insurance industry veteran, Darren Phillips, to launch the cannabis plan with the national in insurance partners. The plan not only covers cultivators, laboratories in both the THC and CBD industries, but also individuals who self-medicate with THC who could be punished uh, for their use by their current insurance brokers. Philip. Phillips and cannabis businesses in the country uh, with two or more employees can apply to uh, receive insurance, depending on the state requirements and that the plan uh, is 20% cheaper than other insurance solutions offered in the industry. So, you know, John Sally doing major work, major work, just showing you that, you know, you can go from playing ball to you know the next career and it flows so seamless seamlessly you know what i mean from athlete to cannabis man like that's why i love the plant so much because it's a performance enhancing plant and that's what people really don't understand uh you know these players are smoking cannabis and they're also the best athletes in the world like you know you they still have lives they still have they're still living in the same COVID situation we live in, and they still living in stress, anxiety, depression, you know, coming from poverty, coming from, you know, um, you know, messed up homes, coming from all sorts of things. Uh, and, and so cannabis is really something that has allowed, you know, a lot of these athletes to, uh, to, to level up. So you got Mike Tyson, you got Isaiah Thomas, uh, Ricky Williams. So that's athletes and cannabis, athletes and cannabis.com. Uh, please give us a follow. We're on Instagram at athletes and cannabis. Uh, we're on Twitter, athlete cannabis. Uh, and uh, we'll appreciate your support. Uh, any stories that you have, please contact us. You can DM us. You can write us on Twitter. Uh, you can follow us on uh, social media and, and YouTube. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, give us some comments and let us know some athletes that you'd like to see on athletesandcannabis.com. Thank you and have a great day. Peace.